Let's hear from the skipper now. Inside we go, the interview room, Buck Showalter's post-game comments. Nice and warm tomorrow, huh? What we got? I had a positive conversation with Robbie today. It was encouraging. What we got? Game. Buck, was uh, Britton out of gas, or did you just sense that he was losing control of the game? Uh, your reason you took him out at that time? I don't know about running out of gas. We all got some gas. You know, when that light comes on, you still know you got two gallons. You guys ever try to, and ladies, try to see how close you can get it without running out? See if you can get all 22 gallons in there. <laughs> now, we, we have the, you know, the benefit of watching between innings, you know. And uh, I thought he was laboring a little bit. Also, a lot of it had to do with the option I had with an off day tomorrow. And just didn't like the Rosales matchup. Thought he had centered him up, had some good at-bats off of him, and looked pretty comfortable against left-hand pitching. And one of our guys knew Rosales real well from the Mexican League. And I had talked to him a little bit. Anyway, but I think Zach had given us, you know, you, you can kind of multiply the pitch count and the innings. And also, I want to get him out of there on a positive note and not have, uh, at the very worst, having a, no decision. But I think the biggest thing is the option we had to go to. JJ's been pretty good for us. Yeah, I think Nolan, in, that, in that regard, last night at Cardo really helps you tonight. Oh, yeah. And we're trying to, you know, Koji's trying to stay away from him tonight. And we're going to get everybody back on their feet. And it worked out well, and it's a good point. Exactly what Jeremy gave us that extra inning last night that uh, allowed us to be able to do some things tonight. Even though we did have one of the few times we had a JJ ready and didn't get him into the game last night. Well, um, it seemed like early on, Britton had better stuff maybe than he had the last couple times out. Is that pretty? I think that's easy? very accurate. He was crisper, had a better tempo. It seemed like he was finishing his pitches. Thought he had a lot of borderline pitches, didn't quite go his way. That turned some counts around, but. Uh, you know, I was going to let him face to Jesus in that last inning, and uh, it was his last hitter regardless. But uh, I, I agree with you. I thought he was crisper, uh, especially early on. I think the, the weather took a little bit of that Christmas out as he went on. He's a pretty, pretty confident guy, but he was wearing a little bit that, you know, he hadn't won since May, he had two bad starts in a row, or not great starts in a row. Probably, you know. If you know, you know, like we got to keep in mind, and I try to every day, is you know where they are. This guy's had half a year in AAA. I mean, there's a lot of things thrown at them they haven't had before, and sometimes it's uh, what they perceive as failure. And I, I had a little conversation with him after his last start, and last, but about, I think it was more more for my sake than his, as much. You know, just a little three minute. I don't know, but he. Uh, I thought I, I had a feel for where he was mentally, and, and I felt like I was right after talking to him. It was a one-way conversation, though. Buck, how big is the bullpen, man? Not just in this three-game series, but over I think, the last month. I think would uh, we score 11 runs in three games and won three games. And I got to tell you, after you know we we were really frustrated coming out of Oakland, and uh, to be able to kind of return the favor here was I know felt good for our guys. Buck Reynolds, what, what do you see that he might be doing different right now, other than putting bat on the ball? Um, he, some of the pitches that he should be driving, uh, that he was ticking back uh, to the screen, he's centering up now. You know, when they do make a mistake, and uh, you know, he's got such damage to contact ratio. You know, I thought I thought for a second he got in the first one. You never know with the weather like this if it's going to help the ball or not. And uh, he. Uh, I don't think he's missing the mistakes as much. And there's so many times in the course of the season where he's fouled the ball back and everybody dug out, ooh, oh, I just missed it. Well, I think he's getting a little tired of that just missed it stuff. And, you know, he's, he's been doing some damage. But the A's are uh, struggling. Uh, is, it, is it the mark of a, a good team to take advantage of something like that and, you know, a subsequent sweep of a team? That I, I don't think our guy, I don't think at any point, you know, I didn't bring it up. And uh, I got to tell you, uh, until somebody told me before we started the series, I hadn't really noticed it. And, you know, they didn't, they don't care about our struggles out there. And, you know, I have, I have empathy for them. You know, I, I, we've all been there and we'll be again. But, uh, you know, you got to take care of business, and you're going to have those moments when somebody's going to try to step on you too. So you better take it because we know they're they're wounded a little bit with their health and what have you, and like we will be and have been and are to some extent, and it's part of the job description here. You better. I don't think it, it really wasn't top of conversation. 
what come with a guy like Reynolds. I mean, it's so much of it. You know, you heard about was also you know mentally him maybe putting a lot of pressure on himself coming over here. I mean, are you seeing him start to relax a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I think so. He, he's always on the outside. Had this you know kind of carefree, let it rip and. Yeah, it'll be there, but you know it kind of wears on you sometimes. You know, we're not—he's not robotic, and he's only 27 years old. I mean, this guy's—he's had some time in the big leagues at a young age. But uh, yeah, I am a little bit. I thought he made uh, uh, a gutsy play in throwing the ball to second base, made a couple of good defensive plays, and uh, you know, he really hadn't carried out the field. And uh, you know, he's a—I don't want to swashbuckling, whatever you want to call it. He—he he kind of lets it rip and sees where it ends up. But, uh, you know, in the whole scheme of things, the RBIs are coming and the home runs are there. And it's actually a little uh, cut above as advertised statistically. If you look at the half full.